Hey, you guys. Hey, hey there. It's Cat the Course Builder here. Um, hopefully, you guys can see me and hear me okay. I am going live in the group for Teach Me Tuesday. For Teach Me Tuesday, I am so, so happy about this day of the week because this is the day that you get to uh, stretch your stuff and teach us something in your wheelhouse. Um for five to seven minutes, okay? So uh, those of you all who are new to the group, let me be first to welcome you, welcome you to, uh, to this group, right? This is where you're going to learn how to stop chasing one at a time. And instead of that, um, teach to the masses, all right? Teach to the masses who are just waiting, waiting, waiting to learn from you, okay? So we know that we don't want to teach one person at a time because that's really quite inefficient. Okay, so listen, if you are on live and you can see, uh, you can see my screen. In fact, I'm going to switch over. Um, if you can see my screen and you're and live, please go ahead and put a comment uh, down below. That way, I can see that you are on and that we are all set to go. I'm going to kick off our Teach Me Tuesday uh, this morning. Uh, it's almost nine o'clock, almost three o'clock where I am, uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. So hopefully you guys are just getting going. You've gotten my message and you are preparing to come in live. All right. All right. You can see me. All right. You can see and hear me. Okay. Hey, y'all. Hughes, nice to see you, baby. Sherelle, nice to see you, sweetheart. And you can see my screen. Thank you so much, Dolores. I appreciate that. So listen, you guys, um, I'm going to come in today and I want to teach you all how to I'm going to come back over here. We can actually see my screen. I'm going to teach you guys how to create a free course right here on Facebook. Okay, how exciting is that? That's awesome, right? So in just a second, I am going to switch my screen uh, over so that you can see how to do this. But first, I want to talk a little bit about why you might want to uh, create a course on Facebook uh, as opposed to using a third party site um, such as Teachable or one of those other platforms. Listen, those platforms aren't going away and we still need those type of platforms. However, if you want to create a challenge or a course that is uh, fairly quick to go to get through and not too comprehensive or too involved, uh, definitely consider Facebook, okay? So one of the ways that I am using uh, Facebook, the Facebook platform, is for a challenge, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and switch over my screen so that you can see, hopefully you guys can see this, because now that I've switched over, I can't see you. <laughs> all right, so this is um, the course the content to course challenge that some of you all are participating in um, this week and uh, and I decided to to do the challenge in Facebook where all of the lessons all of the courses are right here in Facebook okay so they don't have to go anywhere else to get their content all right so the reason why I chose Facebook is because it's super simple, right? It's easy to set up and I'll see how to do that in just a second. And guess what? It's completely free, which is super awesome, okay? So if you want to set up a challenge uh, like this, this is uh, something that you might consider doing, okay? So Facebook has now, if you go into your uh, more section and then go to edit group settings, right if you go into your group settings you're going to see that you can enable something something here called social learning units okay so all you have to do is go in there and click on this tab that says social learning units okay so what that will do is that will enable units units are like modules Okay, units are like modules. And once you enable those units, you're gonna you can go over here on the left hand side of the page and you're going to see units and you can click right on units, right? And start adding content. How cool is that, right? So you can go ahead and start adding courses, course content right there in Facebook. <laughs> 
Mark, you're so clever. I love Mark. Like we have a love hate relationship. I love me some Mark Zuckerberg. So, okay. They are totally on point with this uh, new feature that they have called units. So all you have to do is create a new unit, right? Create a unit and then you can upload you can upload whatever you like. You can upload videos. So right here, like I've uploaded um, the the uh, the intro, the start video, the start here video. So they can just go ahead and listen to that and start. And then once they're done, guess what? They can click on next unit and it takes them right to the next section, right? So it takes them right to the next section. I've put in um, a video here. I've put in some homework. And the other cool thing about this is that this really is a social learning uh, uh, feature that they have here, right? Because all of the participants can put their comments right below the assignment. Like, I get so excited about this because it is super, like, this is so exciting because it makes it really easy for your learners to give you all of their um, their feedback, right? And their homework right within the group. So if you want to um, uh, check their homework, if you want to give them feedback, you don't have to have them email you and then, and then come back and, and then you try to find their email and all this kind of crazy stuff, right? So all you have to do is tell them to place their homework underneath the homework assignment, right? And boom, bam, pow, it's there, okay? It is there. And so all you have to do is go ahead and give them their feedback just like you would any other comment that you would leave in Facebook, okay? So how cool is that, right? That's super cool. So these are like all of the... Um, uh, um, the homework assignments and feedback and all of that. And everybody gets to learn from one another. That's why they call it social learning. So I love that. You can put your video right here along with your homework and boom, pow. I would love to hear your feedback on what you think so far about this new feature in Facebook where you can create your own courses right here live in Facebook. Like there's really no excuse for you not to be teaching people what you know, okay? Because Mark Zuckerberg and them have come up with this um, really, really ingenious feature um, that you can use right here in Facebook. So let's talk about some of the drawbacks of this, okay? So with all good things, there are some things that are going to work and there's some things that aren't going to work, okay? So here is the difference with this platform. Those of you all who are like, God, I can cancel my Teachable account. I can cancel my, my Thinkific account. Uh, not so fast. Not so fast, okay? Don't go canceling anything uh, right this second, okay? Because the platform does have a few drawbacks as it relates to um, ongoing content. If you want to have an ongoing uh, uh, online course or something like that. So here's what the drawbacks are, right? So one drawback is that you cannot, you cannot schedule content as of yet, right? So you can't drip content. So dripping content really means being able to schedule out content. So if you're doing something like a seven day check, like you see right here, so you can't schedule the content to drip out um, yet. OK, so from what I understand, they are working on that. But as of right now, you'll have to just put all the content there for your learners. But guess what? I have found that that's not really a bad thing. Like that's not awful to um, to have all your content there because then people can kind of move at their own pace and you don't have to, you know, they don't have to wait for, you know, day one. If they're done with day one, they can move right on to day two. And I find that to be really, really um, beneficial for, 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 for challenges or courses where the, um, where the content is not too in-depth and too involved, okay? So, um, so they can go ahead and move forward at their own pace. Now, 
The other thing that, that you can do with this is that there is still the other um, features that you would expect to see in a Facebook group, right? Such as events. So you can schedule events within your challenge or within your course right within group which is super awesome right just like you can on facebook so if you wanted to schedule a um a group session you can do that right you can schedule that event and all of the members of that group will get the notification okay um you can also um do uh discussions you can do discussion posts, right so these discussion posts are where you can come in every single day of your challenge or your course, or you can come in a couple times a week, you have it set up, right? And you can um, do come in and give insights, do videos um, on, the, on each one of the topics that they are doing for that particular day, all right? So you can still come in and give them insights all right, so this is one of the ones that I did for uh, day four of this challenge. So I came right in and I was able to do a Q&A session right here, live in Facebook, right here, live in this particular group, right? And, and they were able to um, get that with, and it was super easy for me to do. Um, I don't have to try to get them to another platform. And that's what makes it so amazing, right? that you don't have to try to take them off, off of Facebook and, and take them over to Zoom. And, and ultimately, we know that that's what Mark and them really want, right? They want you to stay on Facebook. They want, their, they want your followers to stay on Facebook. They want everybody to stay on Facebook. And so they created, right, this feature where you can teach them right here live on Facebook, okay? Um, through this new feature called units, okay? So when you're ready to create your new unit, all you have to do is click on create unit, all right? And you're going to give that unit a name, right? And I'm, we're not gonna do it here because I'm in the actual group, right? And you give it a description and you can even make the unit optional, right? You can make it to where they don't have to go to that um, particular unit right maybe it's a resource section that you have and you don't they don't have to go to it so you can make it optional and then as soon as you do boom it'll pop right down here in this list and guess what you guys you can even move this list around okay so let's say that that you decided that that module three or unit three needs to be where unit four is you can slide them up and down as you choose. Right? All you have to do is go to settings, right? And um, and there you go, boom. So if you decide that, that that day two needs to be down here or something like that, I don't know why, but <laughs> if you decide you need to change it, boom, there it is. All you have to do is move it right here and you can move them up or down as you see fit, okay? So this is a really, really super, um, um, way to do this um, the the seven day content of course challenge members if you are if you made it into the challenge it was by application only but if you made it I would love to hear your feedback on how you are liking the, um, the, the, the format right so I've already gotten some feedback and people are absolutely loving the Facebook units feature and being able to easily access their course content every single day. They're able to, instead of having to sift through a bunch of stinking emails, right, with an email course, they can get it right here. They can go straight to the video. They can go back. They can review. They can do all that kind of cool stuff. So, um, so if that's not awesome, I don't even know what it is. Seriously, okay. So I'm going to come back over here and see if you guys have any comments, questions. Um, see what I can see over here. Uh, let's see. Lorraine says yes, love this format and will use it for my future courses. Awesome, awesome, Lorraine. Uh, Valerie says, can you save the course in Facebook for future use? You absolutely can, Valerie. Like this can be an ongoing course. You, you, you can keep it open if you want to. You can keep it open as an, as an ongoing challenge, all right? So 
if you find that this is something that that your learners um uh like you know and and you and it's a challenge right so you can have people all the time coming into this one challenge into this one group so you can keep this content as long as you want to just like you can in facebook right so how awesome is this so um so consider using uh facebook for your next challenge uh or group okay so i would love to take your questions um if you have any other questions that was a great question uh valerie appreciate that dawn marie says came in late we'll need to review good stuff thanks so much you are welcome dawn marie thank you so much and welcome to the group okay welcome to the group so so this is where you do a challenge or a course a mini course however you would like to do it you can put as many units in as you would like okay but don't don't run off and cancel your um don't run off and cancel your your membership to think epic or teachable or kajabi or something like that don't do that because it's not as comprehensive as the things that you can do in there but guess what this is awesome sauce for a challenge or like a mini course uh let's see jawaria says i love this so much and with facebook adding payment subscriptions to facebook group will make it easier for small ticket course be either yes you better know it mark and them have got this all sewn up okay so yes with facebook ad facebook is adding payment subscriptions right to groups and you are so right. So if you wanted to turn your group into a paid group, right? If you wanted to turn it into a paid course, then you most absolutely can get them to, um, your folks can, can pay for it and then they, um, and then they have immediate access. Okay, how cool is that? Okay, Trinette says, should we download the course to another storage format to keep it? Okay, so, you're not really downloading the course. Actually, videos and other things are coming from another source. So my videos are stored, some of them on Dropbox. I store some of them in Vimeo, okay? And um, and so you can store your, you, you're already gonna have your content stored somewhere else. And you're just gonna upload those to your Facebook units, okay? So it's kind of the other way around for net. Okay, so yeah, so they're already going to come from wherever you are storing it. Okay, Tiffany says, Kat, you dropping some nuggets and I pre oh, thank you so much, honey. You are welcome. That's what we're here for. Our mission is to teach 1 million and Facebook is making this even easier with this new feature called units. Okay, uh, Tawana, thanks so much. Oh, you're so welcome. You are so welcome. I want you guys to try it out and on promote your course friday don't forget that every single friday you can promote your courses right here in the group and so i would love to know if you are promoting a course that you are hosting right here on facebook okay i would love to know it see it participate in it and see how you're doing with the unit okay um, you are welcome good morning good morning katrina nice to see you honey good morning baby uh yeah this is super super awesome sauce right so uh for those of you all who are just coming in late i am captain course builder and i am kicking off this teach me tuesday with teaching you guys how to set up a challenge or mini course right here in facebook land okay so your friends come right in they can access your videos they can even do work and submit it and you can give them feedback and all of that where you are really really adding value uh, to their to their experience all right and this is what's going to set you apart from everybody else who's only doing email courses okay who's sending out emails flooding people's e email box with all this stuff right um that you got to find this all this who shot john and no ain't nobody got time for that okay so mark Zucker has sewn it up in a nice cute little package called units and you can start working on it today i would love to know if you guys are using it how you're using it and if you're using it to teach to the masses okay all right you guys so that was my teach me tuesday i hope that you all will come in today for five to seven minutes because someone is privately praying that you will come in and teach them and change the course of life for them 
change them in ways they never imagined. They are waiting for you. They are waiting for you. I promise you, they are waiting for you. So don't delay. Who is next to strut their stuff down the Teach Me Tuesday aisle? We can't wait to see you and, and learn from you. And so this is what we do every single Tuesday. And we hope to do it today. All right, you guys, that is all I've got for today. I hope you have, guys have an awesome rest of your day. Um, and remember, <laughs> stay on course. See you soon.